Uh, Deputy Speaker, I rise today to support the Police Powers and Responsibilities uh, Motor Vehicle Empowerment and Other Legislation Amendment Bill of 2012, a bill that will introduce the toughest anti-hooning laws in Australia. Deputy Speaker, I have four sons. Uh, need I say any more? Um, and can I say as a dad that the changes proposed in this legislation uh, are not just an important deterrent for my boys, uh, but for all young people in Queensland and for those that uh, would choose to engage in such anti-social um, behaviour. Uh, as much as I love my boys and as hard as Melinda and I have worked to teach them good values and act responsibility, the fact is that boys always want to push the boundaries. Uh, a, police, a, a police warning and the risk of impoundment put the wind up one of my boys a few years ago uh, when a lapsed uh, moment of judgment almost led to him losing his licence and the threat of impoundment uh, meant that he now <laughs> put the wind up anyone. Um, uh, but the, uh, the threat of impoundment or the possible threat of impoundment even back then, uh, as a result of that he drives like a nana now. Uh, one of my other boys also because uh, boys always want to test uh, the limits a little. Uh, he learned a costly lesson after a failed attempt at drifting in a shopping centre car park late one night, uh, around a roundabout. That's when you go sideways and pull the handbrake on uh, <laughs> member for Nanango. And uh, anyway, that was a fairly costly exercise because uh, the, there's one car rim and a tyre that didn't really bear up too well as they uh, hit the side kerb. But uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, they were lucky. Um, Sadly, the son of a very close family friend tragically uh, has permanent brain injury as a result of some poor choices he made in his late teens, and he's now permanently consigned to a wheelchair and requires around-the-clock care as a result of brain-acquired injury and other significant uh, disability. Deputy Speaker, the bill before us today is important on so many levels. These new tougher penalties for hooning offences send the strongest possible message to our young people that we're serious about their safety and personal well-being. We're also serious about the rights of others within our communities, and that's why it's important that we increase these penalties. These penalties will increase for first offences. The offender's car will be clamped and then taken off our roads for three months. For subsequent offences, within five years of the first offence, the offender's cars will be forfeited or crushed. Deputy Speaker, it's sad that we have to introduce such tough legislation, but unfortunately the level of antisocial behaviour that some within our community continue to inflict on our neighbourhoods has made this legislation very necessary. If these individuals cannot be responsible members of our community, they do not deserve the right to be driving on our community's roads. Enough is enough. Some, some constituents from my electorate of Southport Particularly car enthusiasts, uh, enthusiasts have contacted me regarding their concerns. They have suggested that these new sanctions will be a burden on them, uh, that they are unfairly targeted towards a minority of road users and that they threaten their rights as citizens. I have told them and other constituents, if you respect the law and, your and, and, uh, and other community members, then this legislation will not be a burden on you or fellow car enthusiasts, provided you do the right thing. I believe this legislation is fair. It will only affect those who choose to flaunt the law, disregard police orders and disrupt communities with their bad hooning behaviour. There's a responsibility for all enthusiasts, no matter what field they explore, to respect the law and rights of fellow members of our community. Deputy Speaker, many Southport constituents have contacted me about ongoing hooning and antisocial behaviour that they've had to put up with for years. During my campaign, uh, hooning was, the one most, um, was among one of the most common concerns raised in the electorate. As a former Gold Coast City Councillor, I received complaints almost every week at my regular listening posts and mobile offices. Deputy Speaker, I note that in the South East region, those areas covering the Gold Coast, Coomera and Logan, uh, we saw some 158 Type A hooning offences and 120 four Type 1 vehicle impoundments just last year. And for Type 2 offences, hooning behaviours such as unlicensed driving and driving an unregistered vehicle, there were some 9,915 offences and 1,886 impoundments. 509 of these were just on the Gold Coast. 
These statistics tell me that Hoons just aren't getting the message. They tell me that Hoons don't consider the penalties for these offences serious enough to stop them hooning, to stop them from offending. Um, I'd like to share uh, the contents of an email from a constituent that I received some months ago, and it clearly highlights his frustration with the current situation. And I'll read it as written. Dear Rob, I've phoned the Southport Police Station and re reported on this guy uh, on approximately 20 occasions. He lives just down the road from me. He lives in a run-down fibro shack. You can't miss it. He hides the vehicle out the back of his property out of sight. His property is fully fenced and he only takes the vehicle out for weekend joy rides and every time he does, he does a massive burn up up our road and screams past the place. He actually has three cars. One is a, a van, a high top van. One's a nice uh, black uh, Honda Prelude. And the third car is essentially a drag car. This is the one he does the burnouts in. Whenever he takes a drag car out, he parks one of his other cars across his own driveway. Rob, all I'm asking is that the police go round to his house, politely knock on his door and have a quiet word with him and ask if he's seen anybody doing burnouts in the street. Maybe they could ask him to step outside and take a little stroll down the end of the road and show him where the skid marks are, just in case he ever sees anything, anyone doing anything like this. Uh, maybe they could ask for his help. Uh, maybe uh, they may even ask that he could call them if he sees anyone doing uh, burnouts uh, in the future. Um, maybe uh, the threat of police intervention would slow him down. Uh, well, I'm advised by um, the Southport Police that they have visited this gentleman on a few occasions uh, in the past, and uh, he hasn't, it hasn't modified his behaviour. Uh, the request from my constituent, he says, it's pretty simple. Of course, while they're there, they could always ask if they could have a quick look at his car and see what kind of reaction he gives. Uh, maybe they could have a look around the back and see if there's uh, a methamphetamine lab out the back or bring a sniffer dog or two. Um, uh, this constituent's pretty angry. He's been putting up with these issues for quite a while. Rob, his car is a drag car. It is totally bombed. It is so extreme that he hides it in a special shed around the back. He always locks his driveway fence gates when he goes out. Um, and he always leaves his other car parked across the drive until he returns. Please help us take this idiot off the road. Why don't the police just go and have a word to this guy? Simple. Thanks, mate. Well, Deputy Speaker, this constituent has asked some simple questions. It's the same question um, that uh, many in our communities ask. And it's a very good question, one that we can hopefully address and answer uh, by passing these new police powers and uh, responsibilities uh, for motor vehicle empowerment and other legislation, and introducing the toughest hooning laws in the nation. I should point out that since I raised this with my district office at Southport, they've been out and pretty much followed my constituents' advice, and they've dealt with the offender, something my predecessor, the former Labor member for Southport, after 20 complaints, failed to address. Under our government's new rules, the inefficiencies in administrating and administering and operating the laws as well as the current lenient penalties will be adjusted to help police keep hoons like the one I've just described off our streets. Deputy Speaker, hooning is not the behaviour of an individual that respects the law or their neighbours or other community members. And it saddens me that we have to take these steps today to legislate for idiots, if you like, but it is necessary for the peace and safety of all constituents, not just in Southport, but it's also important for the safety and well-being of all Queenslanders. I commend this bill to the House.